Welcome back to Every Way Woman. So let's chat about the book Extra Large Love, recently released by Sarah Varney. And in it, she tells the story of obese girls who are having riskier sex um, and they're taking more health risks because they're larger. You made, I mean, you made a face, Stacey. Yeah, that's tough. Um, Self-image, I can't even say how important self-image is. And for a young woman who's overweight, who we've told her, because society would tell you, because she's not going to see anybody in a magazine that looks like her, mm -hmm. that she's not important. The first man who says the right things to her, she is going to absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely go and make her feel like she's important. But I don't, I don't think there's a point to that. And that would be any girl, any size, who's having issues of self-worth. You're right. And, yeah. and it's someone who's having issues of self-esteem, self-worth, which we were talking about earlier. Um, you're right. If you say the right thing, then yes, it, it will open up that girl to have risky sex at a very young age and become promiscuous. Um, I think it, the reason why it might be more of an issue with obese girls is there's no going around it. it. When you are, when you allow your child or if your child is obese at a very young age, they start to develop much faster Correct. than other girls do. You know, so I they, recently read that some girls who are obese are starting their menstrual cycles as early as ten. first or second right. grade. What? That early? I have that like 10 early. years old. I'm not in first and second grade. <laughs> what? That well, if early. you're very overweight, you, that could happen to you. But wait a minute, let me, let me, because I want to make sure I'm hearing you two correct. So you're saying that even young women that are not obese, what, what was your point about? But I, I'm saying even young women who are not obese, but who are having issues with self-image, maybe they're too thin, maybe they're anorexic and they have issues with their body and they have this body dysmorphia and a man comes along and he makes them feel loved and makes them feel wanted. But they I might. The difference is though society. We will be more embracing of someone who's thin than someone who is morbidly obese. So, oh, we but, take but, that no, across the board. Okay, but yes. so, Stacey, you're taking the point of society. If you're in the mind of a woman who is too thin mm -hmm. or the mind of a woman who is overweight, mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. not about what society feels. That's about how they personally are feeling about themselves yeah. in that moment. Well, if we okay, contribute let's say, to let's, that. Let's take that part out of it and we just focus on, let's say it is because it, it is the, ch the child is obese or the young lady is obese. And I think a big part of it is which we kind of glossed over a little bit is that they're developing a lot earlier as early as first and second grade mm -hmm. wow that's okay. huge mm -hmm. okay but aside from that they're de being developed earlier they're getting poked on picked at the, how, can you imagine what the boys and the other kids are like at that age and what kind of things that they must say and and to to that young girl who's developed so soon and then the kind of attention she's getting from boys who are two three grades above them i mean how many third fourth graders do you know that think about yeah but but okay, you know, but two years. And then you have the young. Then you have these young girls who are in their classes, and that's available to them. But I so, wonder why are they making riskier choices? What is it? Because that it's already not, been laid out for them yes. that they're not worth it, so they don't no, have to use a condom not, yeah, or but be they careful. Are, they're having constant contact with them with, at a very young age, where and, girls are supposed to get it later when they develop in their teens. But if they're getting it before their teens, that implant has already been put in their minds. For, it's a seed that's implanted very early on age. And boys are promiscuous. Teenage boys are promiscuous. So they see these young, these women as an easy target. Oh, I can just, you know, I see Fat Susie and I'm going to get with her. That's one notch on the belt. Mm -hmm. And because Fat Susie is not valued, that's why I don't want us to dismiss what we do to that. I don't even Internally, we can do that. But, but I don't so know. they do. They just pick them out. But I don't know if it's just Fat <laughs> Susie, okay, well, well, it might just be, Susie's got some tits. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna get but with also, that, you know? let's, let's yeah. not just say the girls, o obese boys too. Because you know, biologically, when you're heavy, the man part, which what? is referred to as the penis, shrinks. Oh my gosh. Right? Okay, so, I'm learning all kinds no, of stuff okay. on this. So, no, you know what? Okay, let me give you a little right. stat on that. For every 50 pounds you're overweight, right. no matter your age, you lose an inch of your size. True story. So those obese young boys as well True. are probably feeling like, oh, you know what? Let me, <laughs> any type of relationship I can have. I'm because just going to do don't, this. Yes, I'm just going to do this because we, as a society, don't dismiss the job. We, fat. I work in HR. Let me tell you, somebody come in fat, we automatically make a judgment. So you can imagine a person What do you mean you work, may automatically make a judgment? What do you make a judgment? that they're not disciplined. Mm -hmm. right. Disciplined. Interesting, because they're not being disciplined in their sexual life, nor are they being exactly. disciplined with their nutrition. So you've got a person who's going through all these hormones and these feelings, and somebody rub up on it, and you're like, oh, you know what? You, that, <laughs> that 
is a real issue for them. And so now nobody talks to them. They just figure I'm gonna just go out and have sex and here's where we are. It's but horrible. I, it's interesting though because they're receiving the same kind of sexual education From as who? Right, the exactly. Rest. Have oh, you, well, the, no, the, but I mean like it, through this, one would assume. They show you a video in school. I, yeah, I know. That's all they book. do. I don't yeah. know. Your parents don't even yeah. want to talk about it. But the parents don't want to talk uh, about it. But it I, because the girls are maturing earlier, I think because they're developing earlier, it, they're being approached at a much younger age. So they're more apt to be open to exploring. But yes, if you and take it in the Enjoying face of, their curves. Yes, no. but if you also take it in the face Wanting of- Wanting to feel loved. Of, of a, of a self-esteem thing too, mm -hmm. then yeah, maybe they will be willing to step out there and do things that most girls wouldn't do. They want to Ladies, be no matter your size, play it safe. We'll be right back with more Every Way Woman. Because you have.